Welcome to day 2015 of What Shift You Now. Sharon Hornell from here, documenting the journey as I originally in 2018 transitioned from the brick and mortar corporate world of businesses, not just one business, not just two, over two dozen different businesses offline before I came online. And now I've worked with literally thousands of businesses and business owners to help them grow and build and supersize their business. So every day I like to hop online and I use this segment to kind of keep track of what I'm doing. I have vision challenges, vision problems, and so I want to have a way of keeping track and being able to go back and search through what I've talked about, what we've done, what I've shared, what has worked, what hasn't worked, the good, the bad, and the ugly, I call it, because guess what? A whole lot of good and bad and ugly things happen in our businesses and happen in our life. And that's no different from anyone else, but I like to share mine because if I can help you from making some of the stupid mistakes I've made, then I feel like it's worthwhile. Is it embarrassing sometimes? Yes, yes it is, but I still think it's worth it. So today we're talking about, for Supersize Your Business, the idiom or the expression, to reach the top of the ladder, to get to the top of the ladder, to climb to the top of the ladder, whatever you want to call it. And I made this super duper awesome backwards written graphic so that you could see it forwards on my Android phone. And it just represents a ladder because I didn't have any ladders handy that I could use to demonstrate. But basically, almost all of us in some area or aspect of our life or in multiple areas and aspects of our life want to grow and improve and excel and do really, really well at something. We'd love to be at the top of the mountain or the top of our ladder. I love both of these metaphors for growth and development and achievement. Uh, but the latter is the one we're talking about today. And so in different areas and aspects of our life, we want to achieve those things. And so I talked about and shared in Supersize Your Business group different ways to advance either your career or to grow and build and supersize your business because it's a group of business owners. Some people like me have both a business and are working still in, in a job as well or they had their primary job and they're doing a side hustle, but everybody wants to grow, right? And I contend that in order for us to grow in our career, our job, our business, our industry, our hobby, our craft, whatever it is we're talking about, we need to personally grow and develop first. Our business, and most people don't want to hear this, but our business will only grow as big as we are or as big as we will let it, right? At some point we all realize, and it's really a humbling experience, we need to get the heck out of the way in order to get our business to grow or in order to help it grow in one direction so that we can step back and focus on the vision of the business and expanding and supersizing and growing the business. Usually that involves us getting out of the way of more things than we ever imagined possible. So that was our idiom for today for Supersize Your Business. Today is our final day talking about relationship goals in the Get Your Goals Annual Challenge. Today we are talking about step seven of our goal setting process, the one we identified in January uh, after going through a dozen and a half frameworks that we wanted to look at to decide, well, what are the steps that we want to have be our personal goal process? And so we came up with a seven step process. I don't like processes to be something that I install in my subconscious. Usually that's more than seven to 10 steps because it gets too complicated. Can our subconscious handle it? Yes, but life is about keeping things simple and effective, not about having 30 steps to success or 150 steps to success or a thousand steps to success, right? It probably takes at least a thousand steps to be successful in everything or anything. But if you tell somebody they have to take a thousand steps, nobody's going to take that first step because we have a propensity to stay where we are as long as we're the least bit comfortable. We can even be a little uncomfortable and we'll still stay in that loop because we're afraid to change and step out of our comfort zones. It's just human nature. So, Talked about that, talked about some ways to climb the, cop, the the corporate ladder, the job ladder, the industry ladder, personal development ladder, whatever the ladder is that you've got leaned up against your building. Uh, that's it. Monday here in my neck of the woods, super busy week ahead. Uh, I, I, it seems like every week in the summer I've been saying that. I'm busy. And now my two-year-old granddaughter, I hung out with them this weekend for a project the kids are doing, their parents are doing. And... My, my two-year-old granddaughter's thing is now, shoo, grandma, I busy. Shoo, grandma, I busy. When she's playing with something or concentrating on something and she doesn't want to be interrupted. Shoo, grandma, I busy. So dang cute. Love spending time with my granddaughters, which is what we're focusing on and what I'm personally focusing on throughout this relationship month. Tomorrow, we're starting communication in the Get Up 
get your goals annual challenge if anybody's interested in that just ask and i'll let you know the link to that it's a free annual challenge and we have a video and a write-up every day except for january i didn't start it until february 1st when i started playing with chat gpt why because it's another tool that i want to become familiar with do i use it a lot nope just once a day to be curious about how could i use this to write my write-up for this year's annual challenge and i haven't edited it it's in a guide in the get up and go challenge private facebook group you can always go check those out if you're curious again just ask have a great day if i can help you anyway again just ask otherwise i'll be with you tomorrow bye